KSL In-Depth Now, we're learning more today about a man who police say rammed his truck into a trailer in Garden City and shot two people before he was shot and killed by one of his victims. Rick Bywater made several angry posts on Facebook just an hour before the Sunday shooting. His last post simply said, you pushed me to the edge. Robin Shepard also lives in the trailer park where the shooting happened. She says she knew trouble was coming. She heard it from one of the victims. Kay Carnahan. We got a phone call saying to get a gun and get down. He was on his way over to our house. So we were pretty scared. And that, and then when I heard a shot, then I really got scared. And then four more after that. Then that's when I knew that something had happened at Kay's house because I was talking with her on the phone at the time this was all going on. And she was kind of telling me what was happening. And then I called her again, and, and they had been down. So we called an ambulance to have them come up and get her and get both of them. And we, we didn't dare leave. We didn't know if he was contained. Shepard says they knew Bywater, who used to live there. He helped a lot of people out. He helped them on their trailers and whatever they needed to do. He did a good job at the pool. But he just went off the deep end, and we were all scared. We knew for the next probably couple of years we'd have to kind of watch our backs on that. You can see more details on this story on the KSL News Radio app, sponsored by Any Hour Services. Shepard says Mike Carnahan, the other person who was shot, was a hero. Yes, I do. I feel like Mike saved our lives. He saved our lives. And I texted him today and thanked him, and he's a sweetheart. And they're going to have a long recovery, but they'll be, they'll be okay, but we're here with them. During one of his posts, Bywater referred to the couple who was shot saying, what comes round goes round. There were several other replies to his posts urging him to get help. One post said, don't be alone.